deep affection for your dear ones and hold a great deal of love for them, it is imperative that you ensure you have watched this video until the conclusion. This video could potentially save someone's life, so it's definitely worth watching. In this informative video, we delve into the topic of colon cancer, a type of cancer that originates in the colon, which is the first and longest part of the large intestine. We explore the role of the large intestine as the final segment of the digestive system, responsible for breaking down food for the body's utilization. While colon cancer primarily affects older adults, it is essential to understand that it can occur at any age. We discuss how this disease often begins as benign growths known as polyps, which can gradually transform into cancerous cells over time. Join me as I provide valuable insights into the causes, symptoms, and potential preventive measures for colon cancer. Stay informed and take charge of your health. Before we dive into today's topic, I wanted to kindly ask for your support. If you enjoy my content, I'd really appreciate it if you could give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos. It means the world to me. Alright, now let's get back into the topic. Bowel cancer, also known as colorectal cancer, is a type of cancer that can be found in various parts of the large bowel, including the colon and rectum. The large bowel is an essential component of the digestive system, responsible for absorbing water from the food we consume and eliminating waste from our bodies. The severity of bowel cancer varies depending on the size of the tumor, whether it has metastasized, and the overall health of the individual. In the United Kingdom, bowel cancer is among the most prevalent forms of cancer. Fortunately, early detection through bowel cancer screening can significantly improve treatment outcomes by enabling timely intervention. In the event that colon cancer does develop, there are numerous treatment options available to manage it effectively. These treatments encompass surgical procedures, radiation therapy, and medications like chemotherapy, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy. Colorectal cancer is an alternate term used to refer to colon cancer, as it encompasses both colon cancer and rectal cancer, which originates in the rectum. Initially, individuals diagnosed with colon cancer may not experience any symptoms. However, once symptoms manifest, they are typically contingent upon the size and location of the cancer within the large intestine. Alteration in bowel habits, such as increased occurrences of diarrhea or constipation, rectal bleeding or the presence of blood in the stool, persistent discomfort in the abdominal region, characterized by cramps, gas, or pain, sensation of incomplete bowel evacuation during a bowel movement, fatigue or a general sense of weakness, unintentional weight loss. It is crucial to promptly seek medical attention for any signs of bowel cancer. If you experience persistent symptoms that cause concern, schedule a consultation with a healthcare provider. If a general practitioner decides to refer you to a specialist due to suspicion of bowel cancer, a series of tests will be conducted to screen for cancer. The primary examination for bowel cancer is a colonoscopy, which involves the use of a slender and flexible tube equipped with a camera to examine the interior of your bowel. While the procedure may cause some discomfort, it should not be painful. To ensure your comfort, you will be offered a sedative and painkillers. During the colonoscopy, a small sample of the lining of your bowel may be collected for further examination, known as a biopsy. If you have received a diagnosis of bowel cancer, Additional tests may be necessary to determine the extent of the disease. These tests may include a CT scan, an MRI scan, a PET scan, blood tests, and genetic testing. The results of these tests can provide valuable information about the spread of the cancer and whether specific genetic changes have contributed to its development. This information will assist your specialist team in determining the most appropriate treatment for you. The course of treatment for bowel cancer is determined by several factors, including the size of the cancer, its location in either the colon or rectum or both, whether it has metastasized to other areas of the body, and if there are any specific genetic alterations present. Additionally, your age and overall health are taken into consideration. A comprehensive treatment plan may involve a combination of surgical intervention, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and targeted medications. Surgery can be performed to eliminate cancer from the bowel. It may be necessary to remove a portion or the entire bowel surrounding the cancer as well. In order to aid in your recuperation, you may require a temporary or permanent colostomy or ileostomy. Your specialist treatment team will provide you with support throughout the surgery and recovery process. Most colon cancers have an uncertain cause. According to doctors, 
the development of colon cancer is attributed to changes in the DNA of cells in the colon. The DNA of cells contains instructions that dictate their functions. These changes prompt the cells to multiply rapidly and enable them to survive, even when healthy cells undergo their natural life cycle and die. Consequently, an excessive number of cells are produced, which may form a tumor. These cells have the ability to invade and damage healthy tissues in the body. Over time, they can detach from the tumor and spread to other areas of the body. The term used to describe this spread of cancer is metastatic cancer. Advanced Age Although colon cancer can occur at any age, it is more commonly diagnosed in individuals over the age of 50. However, there has been a rise in the number of cases among individuals under 50, and the reasons behind this trend remain unknown to medical professionals. Personal History of Colorectal Cancer or Polyps Individuals who have previously had colon cancer or colon polyps are at an increased risk of developing colon cancer. Inflammatory Bowel Diseases Conditions such as ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, which cause inflammation and discomfort in the intestines, can elevate the risk of colon cancer. Inherited syndromes, certain genetic mutations that run in families can increase the likelihood of developing colon cancer, the most common inherited syndromes associated with an increased risk of colon cancer, are familial adenomatous polyposis and Lynch syndrome. Family history. Having a blood relative who has been diagnosed with colon or rectal cancer raises the risk of developing colon cancer. The risk further increases if there is more than one family member affected. Diet. A low fiber, high fat diet commonly found in Western societies has been linked to an increased risk of colon and rectal cancer. Some studies have suggested that consuming excessive amounts of red meat and processed meat may contribute to this risk, although research findings have been inconsistent. Sedentary lifestyle. Lack of regular physical activity is associated with a higher likelihood of developing colon cancer. Engaging in regular exercise can potentially reduce the risk. Diabetes. Individuals with diabetes or insulin resistance have an elevated risk of colon cancer. Obesity. Being obese increases the risk of developing colon cancer. Additionally, obesity is also associated with a higher risk of mortality from colon cancer. Smoking. Smoking tobacco products has been linked to an increased risk of colon cancer. Excessive alcohol consumption can elevate the likelihood of developing colon cancer. Conversely, undergoing radiation therapy for previous cancers, specifically targeting the abdomen, can also heighten the risk of colon cancer. Certain medications have the potential to lower the chances of developing colon polyps or colon cancer. There is some evidence suggesting that regular use of aspirin or similar medications may be associated with a decreased risk of polyps and colon cancer. However, it remains uncertain what specific dosage and duration of treatment would be necessary to effectively reduce the risk of colon cancer. It is important to note that taking aspirin on a daily basis carries certain risks, such as the development of ulcers and bleeding in the digestive system. Typically, these options are recommended for individuals who have a high risk of developing colon cancer. Currently, there is insufficient evidence to support the use of these medications. For individuals with an average risk of colon cancer, if you have an elevated risk of colon cancer, it is advisable to discuss your individual risk factors with your healthcare team in order to determine whether preventive medications are safe and appropriate for you. I wrap up my discussion for now, but don't worry, there's more exciting content coming your way. Join me in my next video as I delve into new topics and explore fascinating subjects. Until then, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye for now. We delve into the depths of extensive research and invest a significant amount of time to bring you valuable information. Our relentless dedication and hard work are aimed at delivering a high-quality outcome. We kindly request your support in our journey by liking, subscribing, and sharing our content. Your encouragement fuels our motivation to continue producing informative videos. Join us in our pursuit of knowledge and help us make a difference. Thank you for your support.